Waiting for a letter of acceptance to a college or school can be so nerve-wracking. I know it was for me. It was very nerve-wracking. Don't you wish they would just tell you if you're going to be accepted or rejected right then and there? Well, as we all know, that's not how things work. People have interviews all the time, and sometimes you don't even get the letter of rejection. You just, you know, get thrown to the side and never thought about it again. Well, today I'm going to be telling you about my interview, or in my line, in my line of work, we call it an audition. I am a vocal major here at Fulton College. For anyone that is a vocal major, you have to audition and be accepted to the Vocal Applied Program. Applied program. And with that program comes certain requirements. You have to, you have to uh, <coughs> register for many different classes, including uh, the most theory classes, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's some hardcore classes that you have to take and maintain a 2.0 GPA. So, it's a very tough process. And there are classes that are before applied if you don't even qualify for the applied program. So, it can be pretty trying. The audition was coming up, I was signed up, I was getting more freaked out by every day. And I was just, I was trying to get prepared I chose the song that I was going to sing for my uh, audition. I picked out clothing that was uh, like business casual, appropriate for it, and thought about my schedule for that day, trying to prepare it every single second so that I could have the best possible audition ever. So, audition day. I've sung for thousands of people. I sang at the graduation performance, and when I have to audition in front of a panel, I my arms start freaking out, I don't know what to do, I'm like shaking. And I just I freaked out on the audition day. I got to the location early, I was making my regular kind of round for an audition. I forgot to copy my music for the accompanist, so I had to go to my car, get my book, go to the library, print out everything for the accompanist so she doesn't have to turn pages while she's playing the piano. So while I get everything in order from the library after making the copies. I go to my audition right on time. I give the music to the accompanist. I take it up. I start my audition. I'm singing there, singing my Italian. And then the next thing I know, the piano stops. And I'm halfway through my song. And I'm thinking, what's going on? I finally get the hand from the panel saying, stop. The, pian the pianist told me that I take the pages in wrong order. I mean, I had the worst possible audition. I had to stop while I was singing. I finally restarted my song after they gave me the okay to continue. I gave her the book. Luckily, I had it still from doing the copies. The only down in which she had to turn pages, and I'm sure the panel remembered that. I walked out with my head high, completely giving the appearance that I was sure I did good. When inside, I was feeling like a complete failure. But somehow, I was accepted. I was granted a spot in the Vocal Applied Program. The student capacity is only 40 students per semester. As you may have guessed, many applicants were turned away. Not only was I accepted to the program, I am being taught by the head director of Vocal and Core Studies here at Fullerton College, Dr. Catherine Rundes. Now I'm going to say a very cheesy expression. Don't stop believing. <laughs> and this is my proof that I entered into the applied program and I got Catherine Rundes. I'm going to throw it in also on the only mail that she's teaching this <laughs> <laughs>